Hi, welcome back to Whimsy Crafter. I hope you all are doing well. In my previous video, I showed you how you can easily identify basic orchid types. And in today's video, I'm going to talk to you about the roots of an orchid plant. Now, if you take a look at this video, you will be able to see that usually orchids are characterized by two types of roots. One type of root is the aerial root which sticks up in the air and the other type of root is the clinging root which acts as a system of support. Now, orchid roots are different from the roots of an ordinary plant. They have a sponge-like covering on top of them called velamen which absorbs water. So this is a snap of my own orchid plant. So when I water my orchid plants, the roots usually hold on to the droplets of water in this way and then slowly absorb it in their own sweet time. Orchids grow in conditions where the resources from nature in the form of water and nutrients are scanty. As such, um, you know, nobody is there to provide them with proper nutrition and they have to heavily rely on nature. To support that mechanism, orchid roots have been adapted in this manner to catch nutrition from their surroundings. Now, different types of orchids have different types of roots based on their structure and physiology. Like for instance, I had shown you pictures of monopodial orchids like uh, Vandas and Phalaenopsis and Erides and Rhynchostylis and I had told you that these orchids do not have mechanisms for storing water in their structures. So that is the reason that their roots are thicker than the other roots of the other orchids that we usually find. Thicker roots in them help in retaining and absorbing more quantities of moisture. But if you consider sympodial orchids like Dendrobiums and Cattleya and Oncidium and Tulumnias, you will find that their roots are comparatively finer and thinner because they have water storing capacities. Now coming to the health of a plant, a lot can be concluded by having a look at the orchid roots. Often it is uh, the root of an orchid that has telltale signs to the health issues of a particular plant. Generally speaking, a healthy orchid's root system looks like this when it is moist. Orchid roots contain the pigment chlorophyll and they are also capable of photosynthesizing. That is why they attain this green color when you water them. This is the picture of the roots of a healthy orchid. But if you look at this picture over here, the encircled portion will show you some brown sections. This indicates that this encircled portion is actually affected or infected or it is rotting. This ensures that the you know orchid suffers and it often does not uh, absorb the required quantity of moisture. And this is an extreme case of orchid root damage. You see the roots have become flat and papery. They do not look plump and form and these are absolute dead roots. If the roots are of this kind, the orchid plant won't be able to absorb any moisture. So often when you find problems in your orchid plants, it is advisable to inspect the root system first because most of the problems lie there. If you find such browning patches like I showed you in the picture where the portion was encircled, get rid of those browning patches with the help of sterilized pruning shears and then report the orchid in fresh media. In case the orchid roots have dried up completely, then just trim off the dried up roots, sterilize the root portion of the orchid and then replant the orchid in fresh media of your choice. I hope you found this short video useful and informative. If you like this video, please hit this uh, video with a like button and don't forget to subscribe to Whimsy Crafter for more such videos. Thanks for watching.